Hi guys, so if you are facing this error, your PC needs to restart and uh, blue screen error. Hi guys, so if you are facing this error, your device ran into a problem and needs to restart on your Windows 11 computer. Here is how to fix it. First of all, the best solution is to uh, go to the automatic repair screen and fix this. Uh, so how to go to automatic repair screen in Windows 11? It's very easy. What you have to do, first of all, make sure that your computer is turned off uh, fully. And what you have to do, you have to just press the power button on your computer. And uh, as soon as something appear on the screen, a logo of the manufacturer or anything appear on the screen, press and keep pressed and the power button for five seconds to forcefully shut down the PC. Now start again with the power button and repeat the same process again. As soon as the something appear on the screen, press the power button again and keep it as uh, pressed for four to five seconds so that it gets turned off completely. Now we have to repeat this process three to four times until unless we reach to preparing automatic repair screen. After that, diagnosing your PC screen will appear. And finally, you will get to this screen, automatic repair screen. Now you have to click to, on advanced options when you reach here, and then you will reach this screen. Once you reach the screen, you have to click on troubleshoot. Now click on advanced options. Now here, there are a few options to fix your PC. You can first of all click on startup repair to repair your PC if it is facing any startup related problems, the Windows OS will try to fix it. Now, if you have recently updated your Windows 11 computer and this problem has appeared just after that, you should go for this uninstall updates option. You should click here and uninstall the recent update and then try again to see if your problem has been fixed or not. Now, one of the best method is to go for a system restore so that it restores your system to an earlier date if you find any uh, restore point here. So just click on system restore and just find the point, system restore point on your PC and try to restore the system. Now. One of the best option is also to click on troubleshoot from the screen to click on advanced option and using startup settings, you have to go to safe mode. And once you're in safe mode, you can uninstall any third party program, third party software, uh, which you have installed recently and due to which this problem has occurred. Just click on startup settings, click on restart. And now, Click on four from the keyboard and you will go into safe mode. Now, once you are inside the safe mode, just search appwidge.cpl and now click on appwidge.cpl and go to this location. And if you have recently installed any software and due to which after which this problem has occurred, right click and uninstall that particular program and you're good to go. Now, the final solution is to reset your PC and that works in almost all the cases. So while you are in this screen, just click on troubleshoot. Now click on reset this PC and now click on uh, choose your option. Uh, keep my files option is recommended because your files will not get deleted. And if you're not concerned about your file, you can choose this also. Now click on keep my files. Now you have two options, cloud download or local reinstall. Uh, you can choose cloud download if you're connected to the internet or you can choose local reinstall. It will reinstall your windows from this option. So that's how you can uh, fix uh, this issue. Please do like the video.